It's like, hold up, you know, I got a class, I'm getting credited three hours, and I never have to go. That's not all that surprised Mike McAdoo when he arrived at UNC to play football. When I got there, they already had what we were going to major in. But you're not suggesting, Michael, that somebody handed you a piece of paper and said, here are your classes. That's what happened. From the first day I stepped foot on campus, I had a schedule. Class schedule? Class schedule. And you didn't pick those classes? No, sir. The athletic department picked those classes? Yes, sir. Brian Bishop played on the UNC football team, too. And like Mike McAdoo, he says he was told to take courses in one specific major for one specific reason. So somebody in the athletic department said, uh, Brian, you're going to major in African-American studies? Correct. Did they ever say flat out, we want you to study these courses because they're easier? Yes, they did. What do they say? To stay on course of graduation, you would need to take these courses. We spoke to some kids who said they were shuttled into, in many cases, African-American studies. Right. Is that true? That yes, it was a total scam. According to Mary Willingham, lots of UNC athletes were funneled into African-American studies. Did you have to take a language? Yes, I did. What language did you study? Uh, Swahili. Swahili? Yes. Does that come in handy since you graduated? No, not at all. So you didn't pick Swahili. You didn't say, hey, I think I want to study Swahili. Absolutely not. What language did you take? I took Swahili. Swahili? Yes. Do you speak Swahili a little bit? As of right now, no.